Tourism is the identity of Nepal. There are several touristic attractions under this identity. Religious places also fall into a series of those attractions. One of such is the popular religious touristic destination Valmiki Ashram. This ashram, reflecting the life story of the author of the great Hindu epic the Ramayana, along with its godly characters, places, holding the plot stories, heritages, has a distinctive religious glory among us. Because of this, both internal and foreign tourists come to feel the spirituality of the sacred site. The journey to this ashram begins from Kathmandu passing Thankot, Munglin, Narenghat via West Highway, passing Bardaghat, Gopikanj, Beltari, Raninagar, covering 26 kilometers distance and extends to Triveni Bazaar. This is a very famous holy place, Triveni Dham. The adjoining point of three rivers, namely Sunabhadra, Tamsa and Narayani. Triveni has a unique religious significance. There is a huge fair during Maghe Sagranti and Shivaratri. Every year, thousands of pilgrims from different places of Nepal as well as India come to visit this fair. There is Gajendra Moksha Dibyadham nearby Triveni just at a distance of five minutes. This pilgrimage, symbolizing Lord Vishnu on Heron, imparts big religious importance among Hindus. According to the ancient legend, once Gajendra, an elephant, was into the Narayani River. A crocodile attacked Gajendra and there began a war between these two for a long time. Gajendra got defeated and prayed to Lord Vishnu for help. Lord Vishnu appeared in a heron and decapitated the crocodile by his Sudarshan Chakra wheel and blessed Gajendra with salvation. Hence, the name of this place is said as Gajendra Moksha Dibyadham. It is believed that one can get rid of all miseries, pain, after having divine view darshan of this place. Also, performing death rituals, Shraddha, is believed to provide the departed soul with ultimate salvation or moksha. From the natural perspective, there is a huge forest of Chiton National Park just opposite to Narayani River in Gajendra Moksha Dibyadham. There is a unique glass-made temple of Radha Krishna in the pilgrimage premises which is also called as Sish Mahal. Yeah, jungle ko mandir mo asthal Narayani ko chhi pavitra asthal aur baadmi ki rishi ko tapa bhumi. यहाँ चाहिँ गजेन्द्र मोक्ष धाम गजेन्द्र गज र गजगा गजको भन्ने हात्थीले चाहिँ गोहीको लडाई अस्थल र यहाँ श्री हरि नारायण आएर चाहिँ गजलाई चाहिँ हात्थीलाई चाहिँ उबार गरेर चाहिँ यहाँहरुको गरहाले चाहिँ नाश गरेको अस्थल विभिन्न राम्रो यो रमणीय ठाम भएको हुनाले चाहिँ पर्यटकहरु आएर यहाँ दृष्टिकोण लोकन गर्दिएमा चाहिँ अति राम्रो हुन्थ्यो भन्ने हाम्रो धारणा छ बाल्मीकि आश्रम इज इनसाइड द चितवन नेशनल पार्क एट गर्दी विलेज डेभलपमेन्ट कमिटी वार्ड नम्बर 9 Chiton district of Nepal. 25 minutes boating 
takes us to the opposite bank of Narayani River. There is no bridge at Triveni River, so we should cross the river via boating and walk two kilometers through a jungle way to reach Valmiki Ashram. In order to reach the ashram by vehicle, we should cross the Narayani Bridge and complete formalities at the Indian border. We can see remainder of the sons of Lord Ramchandra, Lava and Kush, Goddess Sita and Sage Valmiki at Valmiki Ashram, which is at the distance of 15 kilometers from Narayani Baraj. Here, we can see a typical Nepali style gate. Sage Valmiki has obtained knowledge meditating here. There is no settlement and we can still see the remaining walls and bricks at this place. It is predicted that Valmiki Ashram has occupied 112 kilometers of this area. Valmiki was said to be a great sage, Maharshi, and this ashram is a symbol to Maharshi. There is Elixir Well, Amrit Kua, nearby, which is said to have filled with water from the sea level up to the summit of Mount Everest. But now there is no water in this well and it is under the preservation of the Nepalese army. There are several myths about this well. Some people say that this well was formed to save the devils during the war between God and devils. This is a grinding stone of Goddess Sita in which she used to grind herbal medicines, sandalwood. Still, women want to grind in this stone believing it will keep them healthy and strong body and also adds taste to the food. The map drawn in the stone is earthquake resistant. People built houses following the same map during that time. This stone is called Kapaiche. This is a place where 88,000 sages performed oblation together at the same time for the sake of world environment. It is said that ghee used to flow from this hole, but now we can see a stone made empty pond here. This is the birthplace of love and Kush, or can be said the maternity home during that age. They used to swing in the branch of the climber Amar Lata, that regenerates again and again. That tree is still here, so fresh spread around. Moving ahead, we can see two rock inscriptions which are three times in depth than the outer appeared part. There are faded Sanskrit couplets about Ramayana that cannot be read now. This is an oblation gate nearby and this is a place for earthen picture of Goddess Sita. Still, five pictures can be adjusted here. We can see the form of Lord Vishnu in a stone and it is believed that wearing a locket made up of that metal an earring with the symbol of Sudarshan Chakra always saves us from accidents. Love and Kush got education, got knowledge about archery and learned life skills at this school from Sage Valmiki. We can still see remaining stone at this place. People write their names in the stone with the belief of getting opportunity to continue their education even in their next birth. This is the pole where the horse has been tied, but this pole is a symbol of ritual flag of Hinduism. It was 
initially very tall one, but it has been short after bringing it in the use of horses. The funeral spot of Valmiki Rishi also lies here. This is an important temple at Valmiki Ashram. The major temple when Goddess Sita entered into the dense forest has been built beautifully. The idol of Goddess Sita is very beautiful here. We can see idols of love, Kush at the side. Valmiki obtained Brahma knowledge in this place nearby these idols. It is an important religious site for Hindus. Lord Vishnu has taken nine face forms. Matsya, Kurma, Baraha, Narsimha, Baman, Parshuram, Ram, Krishna and Lord Buddha. There are the idols of Gauri Shankar and two huge Ramayana epic books placed here. Likewise, there is another temple of Harihar. There is a joint idol of Lord Shiva and Vishnu. Now, we are inside the Harihar temple at Valmiki Ashram. In the right side of the idol, one can see Trishul and the icon of half moon which represents Lord Shiva. Similarly, on the left side of the idol, then is the icon of Sudarshan Chakra and Sankha that represents Lord Vishnu. That is why the joint body of Shiva and Vishnu is called Harihar. Besides the Harihar idol, there are beautiful idols of God and Goddesses. It is also the origin of Darbar family and Mirgu family. Similarly, there is an unclad idol of Hanuman at the front. Usually, Hanuman has Sumeru Parvat in his hand in almost all the pictures and idols, but here he has carried nothing. <laughs> पूर्व देखें इनको यो रही आए को बाल्मीकि आश्रम में सब इले आए रहा अब लोकन गरे रहा हमरो रामायण संबंधी जति पनी त्यान लेखे का दृश्य रुजो संजो जो त्याने रिजति वाके रुचन तेल यह अजय पनी आए रहे हर दहरी पुष्टि होन्छा देखना पाइन्छा वाल्मीकि आश्रम होल्डिंग द लाइवली फॉर्म ऑफ द स्टोरी ऑफ द from all religious, cultural and tourism perspective. Let's visit this holy destination, Valmiki Ashram and Triveni and promote tourism. Guests are God. Atithi Devo Bhava.